What's up boys, Shane here, and I'm back with my first video in a long time, and today we are going to be taking a look at Call of Duty Warzone. So in this video I have about a 20 kill gameplay, yeah it is a 20 kill gameplay, um, and I believe my whole squad ended up having like 26, I was just playing with a friend and then a random, um, we ended up winning this game, it was one of the first games I had played, um, and yeah, it is the new Battle Royale for Modern Warfare, available for free on PSN, uh, PC through Battle.net, and Xbox. Um, it's a very big map, much bigger than Blackout. Um, it has a ton of um, OG Modern Warfare stuff like Scrapyard. Um, I believe there is Terminal in the airport. I'm not sure though, I haven't been there yet. Um, there's the TV station, which is broadcast from Modern Warfare. And there's some other maps. There's obviously pretty much all of the ground war maps are in this as well. Um, and there's just some really cool mechanics in this overall. Um, for the majority of the gameplay, you'll see me using the M4AX50 Overkill class. This is my like default loadout that I can pick up through a loadout crate, um, and it's just a ton of fun. Um, overall, this game mode is just super awesome. Um, there really isn't like too many downsides to dying, which is one of my favorite parts of it. Um, if you die, you can pretty much always come back in some way or another, whether it's your team reviving you. Um, whether it's going to the gulag winning your 1v1 and coming back which is super awesome as well there's just so many ways for you to stay in the game and it's a uh, very fast paced as well there's a lot of ways to move around the map whether it's jumping off a building and parachuting across it um finding a vehicle um uh, lots of stuff like that and i honestly don't mind the uav slash heartbeat sensor um i think that in a normal battle royale that's pretty Oh, overpowered and not too good, but in a battle royale like this, where dying um, honestly doesn't matter that much, um, it's not that big of a deal for me, and I really found it just nice uh, to be able to find enemies really fast. Um, I also think the contract system and the money system is really cool too. Kill streaks are not too overpowered, I mean, even though at the end you'll see me, I end up getting a three piece with one, but that was kind of like the only kills I've ever gotten with a kill streak in all the games I've played. So they have very specific uses, um, and when you use them, you can use them really effectively. But I wouldn't quite say they're overpowered. This is honestly some of the most fun I've had on COD uh, public matches in a while. Um, the reason I haven't been posting too much is just because I've been grinding competitive. I haven't really had too much of a reason to play public matches on any game, to be honest. And that includes Battlefield. Um, I really do want to make a Battlefield video soon, but there really just hasn't been too much of an incentive. And Battlefield 2021 is going to be the next game, so it doesn't come out for likely another year. Um, maybe even the spring of 2022, so closer to two years, um, which just sucks in my opinion. Uh, but for now, I guess we'll just focus on Warzone. If you guys like this content, I'll keep posting more of it. Um, this situation here was really awesome. So you can see my teammates on the opposite building to me. He was literally just calling out where the enemies were, like what level on the staircase they were. So he told me like he's three below you, three below you. And I ended up getting like five or six kills just running up and down this staircase. Um, it was super hilarious in the moment, but it's also really cool the kind of teamwork you can use in this. Um, and just sort of how the buildings are designed. I think this that building design is really cool. Um, how you can sort of see the outside and I just love how almost every building has like or every town has like different style buildings it's not like Fortnite where you sort of just go from town to town and all the building designs or layouts are generally the same I um, mean this every building seems quite unique which is super awesome um, they obviously might have like a general theme but overall they are pretty unique and definitely with 150 players in this game um, there's plenty of players to fill out the map, especially when players keep coming back, um, whether they get revived or whether they win their Gulag 1v1s. It feels more like there's 200 players on the map, which is really cool. Um, Infinity Ward has also even said that they will expand this game to 200 players at some point, or that at least they have the capabilities to do that. Um, so we'll see how that plays out in the future. I'm also definitely interested to see how DLC works in this game. Um, the top right part of the map is pretty empty, or I guess it might be the middle right part of the map. Um... So definitely that might be an ideal place to add some new locations, maybe some DLC, maybe some old Modern Warfare locations would be really cool. Um, I also hope they uh, update this constantly with, um, you know, maybe adding some more. I know every weapon's technically available in this, but at least on the floor, you can only pick up certain guns and then you can get every weapon through the loadout system. But I would like a lot more guns to be available on the floor uh, to be picked up and through chests. Other than that, I don't really have too many complaints with this. 
Um, I'm just trying to think of maybe some itches that I've had. I definitely think that there should be some stuff that might be banned out. Um, I definitely see the issue of the loadout system um, becoming more prevalent as the game moves on. And as the meta moves on, it pretty much just seems that every good player will choose like a monolithic suppressed AR and then an overkill sniper. Um, that seems like the meta that's forming already. Um, I can also see a lot of the pay stations being camped heavily um, as the game uh, sort of progresses and the meta changes. But again, it is sort of like a power position or a very valuable spot on the map. So I don't think that's too big of an issue. It's just something that I'll definitely have to worry about. And see, I knocked that guy there too. But I did get a notification, so I really didn't even think I knocked him. And when I went in and killed the last guy and got all three kills, I was kind of confused. But re-watching the clip, that guy actually did get knocked down. Um, but yeah, I definitely think that the final circle can sometimes get a bit hectic. But overall, I don't really mind how fast the zone closes. It makes the games about 25 minutes, which a lot of people thought there would be an issue with how long they were going to be because of how many players there are. But I don't really think that's an issue either. Overall, I'm really enjoying Warzone. I think it's one of the best Battle Royales we've had in a while. Um, it's definitely refreshing, and it's nice to see Call of Duty bring something free to play to the community, um, and especially something that's this polished um, on release. But again, boys, that's it for this video, guys. If you liked this content, don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe if you are new here. Um, but I'm just going to leave you guys the rest of the gameplay and us finishing out this map. Um, but again, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Should head to the safe zone. Take your fire! UAV entering the AO.